Hi, hi. My name is Lindiata. This is my brand new podcast, Color and Craft. I live in Norway. Uh, and what else is important? Yeah, you can find me on Instagram as Color and Craft underscore. Yeah. Um, <laughs> second episode. I haven't uploaded my first one yet. I'm going to do it tonight. And then, so then we get two really uh, episodes close to each other. I hope that's okay. Um, yeah, so today is, um, I have a half an hour to go through some stuff. Uh, I don't have that much new stuff, but I think this is a nice thing to do it routinely. I will try and, uh, uh, yeah, I will try to do a recording every week. Uh, but you know, if I <laughs> if I don't have anything to talk to, then every second week. Um, if I do it with a bigger stretch of time between, I think that I will get out of it, and it will be more difficult to sit down here <laughs> and talk to you guys. So I will try to do it weekly, at least now in the beginning. And I do have some uh, ideas for different kind of podcasts. Uh, episodes I mean um summer knits um oh yeah baby knits uh, well I don't have a baby anymore she turned one so yeah okay but I think we'll we will just get started um what I'm wearing I am wearing a knitted garment oh and now you can see the texture uh, I did not make this but I bought it in Reykjavik in Iceland. I went there at least 10 years ago. Um, and in the main shopping street, they have lots of different vintage stores. And I bought this at one of them. One of them. So it, it's kind of an 80s piece with big arms. And so you can see there's different <laughs> kind of yard, yarn and yeah. Oh, there's a loose end. Anyway, and also in the back. Whee! So this is one of my, like, the, the jacket I, uh, I have over dresses in the summer or just inside the house when I need something else. Uh, I don't think it's wool. Um, it might actually be a cotton or acrylic blends or something. There's different kind of, yeah. It might actually be a, it's hand knit, I know that. Um, and I have no idea about design. Um, yeah. And I love these two pieces. Actually, I needed to, I broke the cost off. Yeah, so I um, had to rip it up and fix it. Uh, and also, oh yeah, there's one loose run. Um, and I was taking off the pilling and, so, and I washed it, so uh, this winter I did some work on this one. And now I love to wear it again. So yeah, that's recommended to fix your knits once in a while, even though you didn't make them yourself. Um, yeah, so that is that. Uh, finished objects. <laughs> okay, so if you have watched my previous episode first, my fr very first episode, I um, there was one almost finished object that I didn't show you because I wanted to show you when it was finished. And now it is 99% <laughs> finished. Oh, actually before I use, I show you that one, I think I have like for January, February, I think I had five uh, finished objects, pretty small ones, I guess, but then I have one work in progress, a blanket that's pretty big. Uh, so yeah, I've been working on the big project and then I had some small side projects. Um, so yeah, that is, and this month I actually finished three small, smaller objects. So yeah, okay, so now I have I have notes, you know, <laughs> so I've been, um, I, I wrote up some notes about this finished object. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of I'm very excited about this one. Um you might have seen it in pod other podcasts, uh, international podcasts. Um and I did watch it. I see it saw it first on uh, on another podcast. Uh, and I was like, "Oh my god, I want one of those." <laughs> okay. So, are you ready? Okay, <laughs> so here you have her. Okay, so the ninth, the one percent that's not finished, it's here, but just ignore it for now. Um, so yeah, <laughs> this is um, I call her Gida. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's making me giggle. Um, so yeah. Uh, she's knit in leftover yarn, like most of these. Oh yeah, this is an um, emotional support chicken. And the recipe you can find on Ravelry from um, uh, Knitting Tree LA. It's a yarn store in LA and they have some patterns as well. And there is a lovely uh, video here on YouTube where she shows you how to make it and assemble it. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, where to start? Okay, so I had three leftovers. Same yarn. Oh, that's upside down. Uh, different, the same color, but different uh, lots, dye yarns, lots, so leftovers from some mittens and another pair of mittens so yeah um my notes yeah uh, so i started with this uh we start down here i think uh and i used the ball that had oh i can't see um stepped I don't remember what that, that is in English, but I had one, I had 41 grams, so almost one full ball. And I basically used all of it for the behind here. And then when there is, I, I changed it a bit, like here you have um, this part, you can use a contrasting color. I, I knit a couple of more rows because I wanted a rainbow. And same here, we have two or three in the contrasting, then the other one, and then the yeah. So, but I did it, I made a rainbow here as well. Um, uh, the rainbow colors, they are also the same kind of yarn. I forgot to say it out loud. It's uh, Sanna's gone, Fritil's gone, it's bulky wool, Norwegian wool yarn. Uh, the, I think the pattern says to use like two or three strands, three strands of fingering, like really thin yarn, but I used one thread of bulky. And the needle size I used is four and a half. Um, they want you to use a smaller needle because you won't, you don't want the filling to, to show, you know, so it's, the fabric is dense. And this is normally, it says, five and a half needle size five and a half so i went down a lot so you can use whatever yarn you have you, the size will vary i guess so uh, yeah so i had used 41 grams on the behind part and then i started the second leftover that was almost a full ball 47 grams and that was the whole of this part, the body. And then I ha had a small leftover that was just uh, 27 and that I used on the head and I had a little bit of a leftover from that too. And I used the small leftover from this, from the body and the head to make this bottom section. Um, so you can't really tell it's different dialogues. Anyway, so that's how I used almost everything. I can show you. <laughs> this is 
this is the only thing oi, I had left over. So I'm pretty um, happy about that. Uh, did I have anything else here? No. Um, so the whole, my whole chicken, she weighs 139 grams. So it's 150 of the beige heather, I think it's called, Meleart heather. And then this contrasting is 24 grams. Uh, or left the other parts, so. Yeah, at first when I started knitting it, I knew I had this leftover. Beige is not really my color. I would, I don't, I don't own a garment in beige, um, and I don't look good in white. <laughs> um, my basic color is kind of more black, and then I use other colors. Um, so that's black is my go-to, not beige. Um, just because I don't look good in it, I I look pale. Um, and also I had leftovers in red yarn and this is also the same kind of yarn, Fritis Garn. Maybe there's one, one of the color is uh, Raumagarn Vams, but it's basically the same kind of yarn. Um, oh, maybe I have it here. Oh, uh, Vams. Yeah. Ooh, peak. <laughs> that was a little peak. Um... So yeah, it was it was a some a bit of assembling. It was really nice to make these small bits and bobs as well. And I bought safety eyes yesterday, and I washed it um, because this kind of wool is a bit rustic. So when I washed it, it became a little bit softer because this is a stuffy <laughs> stuffed animal. Uh, she's my stuffed animal, by the way. Uh, yeah. My kids have stuffed animals and I want one too because, yeah. I get really sad when I think about what what's going on in the world. So yeah. <laughs> we are, I'm lucky to live in Norway. <sighs> yeah, so this is my emotional support chicken. Her name is uh, Gida. <laughs> um, I don't really know why. Um, it doesn't matter. I like the name Gida. I have some good memories <laughs> also <laughs> from that name. I have a couple of centimeters here that I haven't um, assembled or stitched together. And that is because but she has a rainbow and I'm debating whether I want it to look like she has a scarf <laughs> like this. <laughs> I, yeah. Or if it's better that they are tucked in. Now when I have had them tucked in and I took them out, it looks a bit messy. Hmm. Help me out people. So this is like a, does it kind of gets, it doesn't show the beak, this is the beak, oh yeah, anyway, maybe I'll just tuck them in. Mm. Yeah, I need a little bit more stuffing, she's a bit, um, she needs more, something more heavy in the bottom, I think I have an old t-shirt that's too wet, washed out, maybe I'll put that in the bottom. And the filling is basically just, uh, oh, I have the bag. Food, stop. Pillow stuffing. Oh. A little bit of plastic in there. Norwegian wool and plastic inside. Anyway, okay, I didn't have enough loo loose ends or anything else to fill, fill her with. So this will do. And I had a bag from, with a, almost full bag. I made a couple of stuffed Santa Clauses a couple of years back and I've had this bag ever since. So now I used it all up. I just have a little bit left and I'm going to put that inside before I close her up completely. So yeah, Gida people. <laughs> yeah, 
and I really do want some live chicken in my backyard as well. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> you can hear me sigh. <sighs> mm -mm. Yeah, it's nice to have you here, Gida. Welcome to the family. Can you sit there? Yeah, okay. So, uh, more finished objects. Yay! Okay. <laughs> Um, I showed you a pair of mittens last time uh, and I forgot to weave in the ends and I wasn't completely finished, I was done knitting them and then I feel it's a finished object. <laughs> but they were not ready to use. So the thing is, I um, they were a bit big uh, and they were knit in this yarn which I have here, the leftover ball. Raumogarn Fibel. Oh, is that? Ooh, okay. Yeah. Um, from a sweater and... Ta-da! So the thing I've done, that I've weaved in the ends, of course. Oh, the uh, the design. It's uh, Pryd Fisk Vot. I test knit it for Tinna. Um, her account in Instagram is Skiatustrik. She's uh, Icelandic, but she lives in Norway. And she designs uh, mittens and small hats and stuff. Very colorful designs. Um, so this is uh, made for Fivel or um, Letlopi, Icelandic yarn. Um, and so yeah, but they were a little bit big for me. I have very small hands. Um, so I uh, put them, I wet them, and I put them in the tumble dryer with a with a big um, towel, and I felted them a bit. So now they are perfect. Like last time, I could do like this, but now perfect. They're still a bit damp. I really enjoyed knitting these. Um, I, I love the yarn, Norwegian wool, produced not far from where I live. Um, the pattern is exciting, you just want to finish the next section. Uh, it's a bit addictive. The only thing I don't like is that <laughs> for one mitten, I, I did for, uh, there were 14 um, threads I need to fasten and on the second one I did, didn't cut a thread at all the places, but there are some long sections, like here, it's, it's um, uh, the purple, and then you don't have the purple for these many rows. And the same with pink, you know? So it's, it's I try to like, uh, yeah, so it was, it was only 12, so. Yeah, I don't know, like, do you cut the threads when you do color work, or do you just... Because if you have many colors, it can be a bit tangly, can't it? So, which one did I do? Yeah, you can see. I've been... Oi! been trying to, like, um, twist them a bit, so that I won't get my fingers tangled in. But yeah, I was uh, super happy with these, once I felted them. Yay! <laughs> And another one. Yeah, and I still had leftovers, so I'm gonna show you a new cast on in a while. And then last time I showed you a finished object. It is a neck. See, it is ankle hals. It's a Norwegian pattern. It's sadly only in Norwegian. Um, it's like a collection of patterns where you can use for different uh, thicknesses of yarn. And there's six, I think different ways you can make a neck. Uh, I, it's brilliant pattern. Uh, I wish it was in English. So everyone can could enjoy it, but yeah. So this I made for my daughter. Uh, the yarn, oh, if I put it, Merino 22 from Dale, Dale Garn, color lollipop. Um, and I had a leftover, almost a full ball. I had two balls. And I made her a headband. Uh, didn't really have a pattern. 
but I wanted it to look like they belong together. So I used a 2x2 two two rib and I, I just made it simple because, you know, the, the yarn is interesting enough with all the, the colors. So... <laughs> She's really excited about this. She was like, Mom, when I start school, I want a sweater in this yarn. Uh, so yeah, now I have to make her a sweater in this yarn. Okay, well, it's it's a real joy to knit with like yarn with colorful specks like this because yeah, woo, <laughs> there comes another color. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, kind of like a dopamine rush. Woo, there's some red. Ooh, there's some green. Yay, there's some yellow. So yeah, teeny tiny finished object. This is 22 grams. And this was 62, so that's 84. I still have a little bit of leftover. Uh, how much? 16 grams, I guess, around that. Um, I don't know what to use with this. I will figure it out. I love using my leftover yarns. So yeah, but if you have uh, something small in mind, like 15 grams. <laughs> Okay, I will put it away. And then the second finished, third finished object is a hat for my baby girl, which is not a baby anymore. <laughs> okay. Ta da! This is. Oi, what's the name in English? In Norwegian, it's Lille Bjorn Lue. Um. Baby bear bonnet is the English word or name. Uh, designer is knitting for Olive. So this is originally knit in a, a thin, uh, very thin yarn fingering. Add one strand of mohair. Uh, but I thought this is going to be more of a summer hat. So I won't use mohair. And it's a bit itchy. She's a warm baby. She's a warm baby girl. <laughs> so, uh, and I had a leftover yarn, a ball. <coughs> sorry. This, oh, this yarn. Sorry, I can't pull it closer. It's blowing out. A doll yarn. Like that. This is a 50% merino cotton blend. And I enjoy knitting with this uh, for my kids. It's non itchy. It's cotton and. No, it's merino wool as well, so it's warm. So I really love this for my baby girls. And yeah, um, the construction on this is a bit different from other baby bonnets. Uh, and I made one modification. I made a garter. Oh. Instead of one by one rib or... Uh, what's it called? Pearls, paddle stick in Norwegian. Uh, it's where you have like every other pearl, pearl uh, knit, pearl knit, and then on the next row you do it the opposite. So it makes this bumpy pattern. I need to figure out what that is. I'm still learning like the Eng English ling ling lingua, lingo, <laughs> um, linguistic. It's very interesting. Uh, languages are interesting. Um, so you knit it like back and forth, this section, and then usually in other bonnets you go in the round and you decrease. But this looks like this in the back. So basically you um, knit the beginning and then I also increase for the ears. And then in the back here I just knit the middle part. And then I pick up a stitch from the sides, <laughs> and it's a it's a German short row construction, um, which is um, very neat, but still it's it's um, more mind consuming. You need to pay attention to your decreases and where you pick up the stitches more, and if you go in the round and um, decrease on the same place. So uh, it's neat, but it's it's not. You have to have to pay attention. And then it's the 
the I card and then you pick up stitches here and doing an I card yeah so the design elements are really neat um, uh, I think I knit this in nine months uh, I uh, measured her head so this would be uh, even though she's one this is the correct uh, circumference oh, yeah so uh, don't blindly choose the size that is in the the, the year like one year two year, two three years like measure your kids as well uh, uh, the thing is with this kind of merino cotton yarn they tend to grow when you <laughs> wash them and that happened it's a little bit bigger than um, I planned and yeah, knitting a swatch for this kind of small garment is not... I, I know, I should know that I... I'm, I always need to go down like half or one needle size. And I, I actually think I did. I went down one a half needle size and still it was a bit big. So I'm a loose knitter. Uh, but it's no problem. Um, it's only 3rd of March, Sunday. This is more like a summer knit, so um, it fits. It's just a little bit big, but it, it's, it fits. But uh, it's perfect that we can use, use it in the spring and maybe even summer. So, yeah. And leftover? Almost nothing. So I'm pleased with that. Yeah, that was the finished objects. Um, okay, new cast ons, whips. I have one new cast on, uh, okay, here it is, which is not finished. Uh, like the headband was a new cast on as well. Uh, <laughs> I casted them on on the same evening. <laughs> yeah, this is a uh, hat um yeah maybe i should start with the design um this is called pickles piece hat <laughs> although you can't see <laughs> it's the hat yes but the beginning of a hat uh designer is pickles knit pickle pickles knits on instagram they are norwegian designers they have a yarn store in oslo um they have different kind of yarns um this is not knit in the original yarn. I used what I had, leftovers, Raimogan Fievo. Fievo. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to use both the purple and the pink in the color work that comes. Like peace hat is actually peace symbols in two rows on the head. <laughs> um, so yeah, and this is um, is a pattern. Um, they donate the the when you purchase this pattern, they donate the money to Doctors Without Borders. Uh, so yeah, it's peace at. Um, so we we want peace, don't we? Um, Yeah, so if you want to support a good cause and also get a, an, a hat with a nice message that sends a nice message of peace, then this is the one. Uh, I hope it's finished next time. Yay! Okay. So, you know, is it only me that finds like centimeters and centimeters? Oops, with ribbing a bit tedious. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of hard on my hands. Okay, I need to find the... Oh yeah, it disappeared. Uh, so yeah, this is that's why this project stopped and the others were finished. Ribbing is not my favorite part thing in the world. So yeah, I'll put this away. Where? Yeah, okay. And the whip. It was almost a finished, it was a finished object. <laughs> I, okay, I'm just gonna show you. It's a baby blanket. 
It's um, Often's Baby Blanket uh, by Norwegian designer Enya. She's called Often's Strick on Instagram. This is uh, knit in Norwegian wool. Finul uh, Raimagan is uh, about sports weight uh, between DK. DK is 22 stitches. Oh, this is more like 24 to 26 stitches per 10 centimeters. Um, but anyway, you can use it for a lot of stuff. Uh, last time I didn't have uh, the pattern. Sadly, it's in black and white. Maybe I can insert a picture of the original colors. Um, the thing is, uh, in the pattern, it calls for 11 colors uh, where so you have the base color and then 10 colors. I have seven colors, eight with the white. Um, so this is kind of square right now. This is whole double, half double. Ooh. Uh, and since my baby is no longer a baby, um, I want, and it's a little bit shorter than the pattern says. Um, it is a good size, but I want it to be a little bit bigger. And since my girl is a bit bigger, uh, if I make it, it it's, it's kind of, it's kind of like a half adult sized, one size blanket, I guess. So I want to do the rainbow repeat one more time. I have two repeats so the these the rainbow colors they are actually leftovers from another project that oh i need to show you guys Oy. but not today um so this is my mindless knit it's a bit big now so i, I don't carry it around this is watching tv in the evening once the kids are asleep kind of knit project for me uh, it's just a garter stitch, so knitting is very easy <laughs> and mindless. So yeah, you know, there's not much of a pattern. It's easy to follow, and there's no increases or decreases. So yeah, this is uh, oh, so my older. I have a one-year-old and a six-year-old girl, and now my six-year-old wants a rainbow carpet too, a blanket. <laughs> so yeah, but uh, we'll see. We will see. Oh yeah, and in the pat original pattern, when it's finished, you, they, it's, you weave in the colors as well, so it's more like a square pattern. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. I, I like its simplicity with just a rainbow. But I'll see. Uh, I'll just have to see. So that was my whip. Actually for my daughter's birthday I did cast it off <laughs> and I wrapped it and then now I put it on needles again so I'm ready to do the next repeat. Uh, do you have any more notes from this? Uh, no. <laughs> so now I have my planned, my planned knits here. Okay. Looking around. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I did show you this. It's a lovely ball of yarn. I, I need to cast on this because I need a small project as well. Um, so this is going to be a headband for myself and a neck. Uh, yeah, so that is uh, still planned. I hope to cast it on pretty quickly. I need some um, winter is winter is officially over. It's spring, you know, in, in Norway at this time of year it's very until at least mid May we can have winter. So yeah, still want to do something with this. Um. Oh yeah. A friend of mine, Marit's Gone Cause, that's her podcast name. She has knit alongs. Uh, 
where you need um, a neck <laughs> like for every two months and she had one pa um, pattern uh, for January and February called flying solo from pearls I don't remember it's a free pattern I will um, so it's fingering weight yarn held double and you can use leftovers and whatever and I have the yarn okay sorry for the crumpling I have yarn kind of sale I have some leftover yarn Oi. and something I bought on sale all of these it's merino wool um, but I'm like so kind of like a fade you you start with one color and then you have one color for each and then you kind of yeah and I really want to I really wanted to knit that pattern because it looks so much fun and I do have the yarn I don't have any plans for this yarn okay I have a loose plan like if I don't use it for this I can use it in a leftover sweater I have some projects in mind and maybe another baby bonnet hat or some kind um so i have three of these and the thing is like if it's a neck like should i have the yellow on top or the green maybe like this but i think today actually she's releasing marit she is releasing the pattern for her knit along for the two next months <laughs> and I might want to knit that too but I am in need of some warm garments around my neck and head <sighs> so yeah I'm a little bit undecided about that yeah you think it's a good idea or should I focus on something else okay I'll put this away And I found a UFO actually <laughs> yesterday. Um, do we call it a UFO or is it a VIP? Like I haven't knit on it since Easter last year. It was an Easter cap cast on. And um, <laughs> this is how far along I got. <laughs> it's a chunky Marius sweater. So it's like an Easter sweater. So it's round yoke. Uh, I use Norwegian wool mostly. And there's the Marius pattern, which is very famous in Norway. But if you haven't, if you're from another country and you haven't heard about it, I might find a picture to insert here. Um, I think I need as far as. Um, uh, color work which is going to be white um i won't show you too much of this right now but as i i want a uh, easter kind of sweater uh, and i like yellow i can use it year round but you know it was started as an easter project and um, it doesn't even have its needles on anymore have like a note needle eight yeah, so I might pick this up and knit on it and then I will show you more next time. Uh, purchases? Yes. The, I have a couple of, oh, okay, since I didn't record in January. And we are or only once in February, and now we are in March. I'm a little behind with my showing my purchases. Um, it's not like I buy a lot of all all the time. It's just right now it's, it was a little bit more than usual. So, um, but this thing here, it's a knitting journal, the bullet jour journal for knitters for this year. And this is made by, designed by Middelstrik. I, ha I have had one of these before. 
actually two and at varying sometimes i'm very good at using them but i i didn't have one last year and i've been missing to have somewhere to put all my notes and like because i think i will remember things and then i don't like already but for the last finished objects and for today i was like what needle size did i use and now i remembered because i have this so uh, my logo yarn store does not have this so i ordered this online from another like it's a local yarn store so it's somewhere else but from uh, Trollsnella Learn School, I have some Instagram friends. They bought a, a yarn store in Learn School, I think, outside Oslo. Uh, so I'm really cheering on them. And they had just one left in stock, and now it's mine. Um, so I have started using it. I haven't filled in everything yet, but you know, getting there. And this was bought like right after New Year's. Um, so they had a little Christmas <laughs> sale going on. <laughs> Oi! Oh, sorry. Oh, it's um. Okay, I can't use them. Then I show them. I'm oh, sorry. It's a uh, snowman needle stoppers. So yeah, I can never get enough needle stoppers. I got a little bit interrupted by my oldest kid there, um, but I'm back um, and I need to wrap it up. So, uh, yeah, I, happy meal. Yeah, because the first one was a happy meal as well. Um, and I got another one. One, two, three. A box of goodies from Skafar Craft. Uh, it's an online web store. She sells. Oh, oh sorry. She sells. It's Anna, and she makes uh, need, uh, stitch markers. And since I love rainbows, I needed to have a uh, one of these. And so it's yeah, some stitch stoppers. I won't show you everything because you might see it in a giveaway or something. <laughs> So yeah, um, but check out Scapa Craft if you're in Norway. Uh, yeah, so this is where I would move on to knit and life. I don't have anything to knit on because I I was planning on knitting on my blanket, but I realized I forgot the next color that I'm supposed to knit with. So I will just chat with you a little bit. Um, and I have something to show you. We celebrated uh, my oldest daughter's birthday. Uh, and she has an aunt that's a knitter as well. And um, she made us, she, she knit something very lovely for her. Um, this is the Friday sweater designed by Petit Knit. And a matching pair of pants. <laughs> this is like work. Or it's a piece of work that I really adore. <laughs> it's a uh, knit in thin merino wool. Uh, my hands don't like to knit with very thin yarn, uh, but she does. And uh, this is like a. In Norwegian, we call it struktur. But it's texture, I think, in English. This is the kind of texture. Oh, you can see it here. Uh, that I don't think I have the patience for it. I think the design is lovely, but I wouldn't knit it myself because I don't have the patience. And also the pants, I forgot to ask. I don't know if this is a petite knit pattern or, but it's she added. The same kind of structure, structure, texture, sorry, uh, on the side of the legs. So I think this is Sun is Gone Sunday, like thin merino wool. Oh, it's a lovely set. This is going to, I think it's, I don't know if the pattern is baby or mini. I think it's in junior and 
adult as well. Uh, I think this may this one year. Yeah, I don't know, but it's uh, she will grow into it. So thank you, Auntie. And um, also something I forgot to show you the last time. We recently had celebrated Mother's Day here in Norway, and I just wanted to show you a few things. <laughs> this is our um, this is art from my oldest girl. She likes to uh, use this Hama beads. These are the Maxi ones. We just had some leftovers. She's moved on to the midi pearls, but you know this is going to be uh, for um, having pots and pans on on the table. I really like the colors. <laughs> And of course, I got some chocolate, hard sized, shaped, sorry, time to wrap it up. And then uh, they made a little card. <laughs> and also, here is some uh, cut out art from my oldest. This is the sun, because I am the sun. <laughs> Love you, girl. And also in kindergarten, they made, uh, I don't know if it's allowed to make Mother's Day because not everyone have a mother. I don't know uh, if that's some rule, but she made me this poster. So she's there and she's like blowing and these are the hearts in the snow. I think this is very nice. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice. And also... I got a small gift card from my local yarn store. Support your local yarn store. My yarn store, local yarn store is called Lille Nest Stick. Uh, yeah. They recently got a uh, web site as well. So, yeah. Really happy about that. So, just a small one, but yeah. I can find myself, treat myself something later on. Okay, so I think that it's all for today. I've been talking for way too long, longer than I planned. Um, I always think these episodes are gonna like finish in 20 to 30 minutes and then I'm like, um, uh, yeah, but now I really need to wrap it up. We are going to a family dinner, it's Sunday. Have a nice Sunday or week or when I will publish this and I hope to see you in a week. Okay. Bye bye.